Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a cross-selling model for a financial institution using information that all institutions should have readily available. I started this by grabbing my data in an Excel format, pulling it into RapidMiner, and setting the type of data. So I'll show you that now. If I go to statistics, I can see I have integers. Everything is a numeric field in this data set. You're either a polynomial field. In this case, the account origin has been transformed into 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or a binomial. So you've got uh, checking indicator 0 means they do not have checking, 1 means they do have checking. And then lastly, there's a few integer fields in here, like the total number of inbound calls going from 0 to 13, total tenure and months for the customers. So now I'm going to go back and select the attributes that I want to use to build my model. So I'm going to drop a select attribute operator, go to subset, and in here I'm going to select the fields that I want to use to build my model. So ATM use, auto loan, checking, counter use, meaning that they walk up and use the counter, credit, debit, home loan, and drive through. So those are all the fields that I want to use. Bring those over. Next is I need to do an FP growth. I'm going to pull that over. This is where my market basket will start uh, being formulated. I'm just going to drop the support a tiny bit. And the positive value I am going to indicate as a 1. Finally, I just need to build my create association rules. Should be up here. Create association rules. Drop that onto the control. Wire this up. Now that I have it, I'm just going to go in. Uh, my criterion is going to be confidence. I'm going to say 0.7. Drop this down to 1.8. And that should be that. So now when I run this, you'll see that it's finding information about item sets that were frequently purchased together, the association rules that go with them, and my example set gives me what it's using. So if I go back to the association rules, you can see that people that have drive-through use, conclusion is auto loan indicator. So if somebody has a, a drive-through and they're using that, then they should have an auto loan. If I go down into the multiples, auto loan indicator and counter use indicator, the conclusion is ATM use. And then there's various fields out here that give me different, different ways to look at that information. But in this case, I'm just going to look at lift. I'm going to sort it top to bottom, pull it over to the side. And now you can see that somebody that has a debit card and a home loan most likely should have an auto loan indicator. Same thing with checking and home loan should have an auto loan indicator. Uh, if you have a home loan, auto loan. But essentially this is how the association rules work. So now if you have an ATM use, auto loan, and credit card, then a debit card would be the next logical choice to present to that customer. So this is essentially how you can go about creating a cross-sell and upsell next best offer activity uh, using data mining to get to predictive analytics for your customer base using RapidMiner.